Hi, I'm Char and this is Dieting with a Life. I'd like to talk again about the benefits of autophagy. Now UCLA back in 2018 wrote a paper about hair thinning. It seems that autophagy is very important to the growth cycle of new hair. Now their method of inducing autophagy is a little different from what I use. However, they suppress mTOR and so do I. So the end result is the same. I limit, gluco I limit glucose and amino acids, and then I also hijack ATP binding. That gives me kind of a trifecta of getting into autophagy. Their method, however, is they use different medicines like rapamycin and um, metformin, and those things are prescription-based and not easily obtainable. So we're gonna stick with what I know and how I can help you get into autophagy. Now, before I do that, I wanna tell you a little bit of a story. My mom, actually, her beautician or her stylist noticed about one inch of growth all over her head. And we were a little confused about that until we saw the time frame, and it coincided exactly with when we had started our autophagy regime. And we were both kind of floored when, when we found that out. And so I know that I'm getting into autophagy because of the skin benefits that I got. I got a, probably about 15 years off my face. So we wanna look at how do you actually get into autophagy? Now we have another video that you can go and watch and it's, it's, so it's fairly long and it explains it quite well, but I'll go ahead and do a brief overview on this one, but please go back and watch autophagy episode one that way you can actually get all of the benefits of how I'm explaining it. One, you wanna be on a low keto, low carb keto diet a few days before you're gonna actually start. Next, you're gonna fast for 12 hours, at least 12 hours. So in the morning, when you fasted for 12 hours, you're gonna take 500 milligrams of resveratrol, and that's a polyphenol or an antioxidant. So it's not a prescription and it's not dangerous. The rapamycin is actually, in, in my opinion, not a great thing to be on all the time because it, they use it to prevent rejection of organs after an organ transplant. So I'm pretty good with the antioxidant over that. So you wanna take at least four grams of exogenous ketones with your resveratrol. That's gonna lower your glucose by about 10 points. And you're not gonna eat for three to four hours after taking your resveratrol and your exogenous ketones. That part is really important because you're gonna to wanna to keep those amino acids low um, while you're trying to get into autophagy. Amino acids will actually bring you out because the mTOR has something to use at that point. Resveratrol has a two to three hour half-life in the body, so you're gonna get two to three hours worth of autophagy a day. It's important to keep that pretty low and make sure you have most, you know, make sure you have most of the day where you're in the growth period and not all day in the destruction period. So UCLA says, that's gonna grow hair. We're gonna see. Thanks for watching.